There's a report out today where the EPA is smashing pumpkins in a new video advertisement saying plants are bad because they increase the carbon footprint. They are now smashing pumpkins and they're coming out and saying that sunlight is bad for the earth. <laughs> I'm bringing these to Alex. He'll know what to do. He'll know what to do with them. I'll follow any order. Doesn't matter how insane. <laughs> Master, I have the enemy. I have the enemy. Oh, <laughs> oh no, look at these evil pumpkins. They have come from beyond to ruin the biosphere! Good, Green Police, good! You, working with the other politically correct people, banning the word mother and father, and banning, banning Halloween costumes, yes. have proven how liberal you are. Now, now, just relax for a moment. Go assemble the enemy over there for execution. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not satire. The Energy Department and others have called for cutting down trees in mass, living trees, and smashing and destroying pumpkins and not letting people grow pumpkins because they put off carbon dioxide. So do your part. Anything carbon emitting, whether it's your French bulldog or your grandmother, follow the example and the orders of our loving saviors at the Department of Energy. <laughs> Public education has trained you well. Look at you, a servile, mindless, unscientific idiot giving us total power over all human life, paying money directly to Al Gore, George Soros, and Barack Obama in the climate exchanges, as well as Lord Rothschild. My minion, you understand by training people that pumpkins should be destroyed, we're training them that you will be destroyed, you worthless crap. <laughs> so, without further ado, I, the noble eugenicist, will take out the enemy of the people via crossbow. There's always new enemies to fight. Carbon's everywhere on this planet. It's almost like we're carbon-based life forms. And just when they thought they were safe, I found another one. I mean, it's psychotic to say that pumpkins are evil and should be killed. This is a carbon-based life form as well. And that's what they're demonizing. They're setting the precedent that all life is bad because it exhales carbon dioxide or it puts off carbon dioxide. This is total insanity, and that's why we're here exposing it at InfoWars.com. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. This week, I went to St. Louis, Missouri to cover the radioactive landfill that is, of course, threatening a state of emergency for many counties there in St. Louis, Missouri. Of course, I took this particular task personally. I spent some formative years there, and a lot of stuff has gone on in St. Louis, has a very sordid history, uh, including a lot of secret testing on the population there. Now, I wanted to give you some background information on the chemical works company that was largely responsible for dumping all of this toxic waste from the Manhattan Project throughout St. Louis, uh, that was Mallinckrodt Chemical Works. One of the things I wasn't able to get to in this video that we're about to show you uh, is some of the secret testing that was going on uh, between Mallinckrodt and their employees. They employed a company doctor. Uh, they knew that their workers were being exposed to really high levels of uranium, and other radioactive materials. And they said, well, wow, now we've got this really large population of people who are getting super high doses of radiation. So maybe we should just go ahead and see what happens to these people. Um, I was able to obtain some documents that a, well, I guess we'll call her a whistleblower, was able to obtain via FOIA request. Denise Brock was actually working on behalf of a lot of families of nuclear workers to try and help them get some aid um, because, of course, this didn't die with their grandparents who might have died working there in those nuclear factories. They have um, birth defects, as well as some of the areas uh, are poisoned now. These people are having these very rare cancers. Um, so we can dock him on some of these secret office memorandums where they're kind of talking about, you know, what's the potential liability among the long-term Mallinckrodt employees? Not, you know, how can we help these employees, but, hey— what, how's this going to affect us? And so they wanted to have this estimate of cumulative multiple exposures to radioactive material. The report shows that there are 17 employees whose lungs have had more than a thousand ram of exposure. And then they go on talking about how there were thousands of employees who stuff like this was happening to. They say it was recognized that pending elimination of excessive exposures, pending that, I mean, we're going to go ahead and try and stop them from being exposed. 
But here we have a unique opportunity to conduct clinical studies on a fairly large size population whose radiation exposure for several years had been considerably in excess of any group for which data are available. So they go on to talk about how they're gonna go ahead and observe these uh, health effects on them as well as their family, even going so far as to do autopsies on these employees without the family's consent, all to find out these long-term effects of chronic occupational exposure to penetrating external ionizing radiation. And you know, there's another article here about, oh, sorry, we spilled a bunch of barium in the street on a road to the St. Louis airport, and you can just see the sense of urgency they had with dealing with this barium spill. Oh, 15 days ago, we, we'll give it a few more weeks before we really go ahead and take care of it. So this is Mallinckrodt, who then morphed into, this is Mallinckrodt Chemical Works, who of course then morphed into Mallinckrodt, Mallinckrodt Pharmaceutical Corp, who is in business today. They are the world's, world's market leader in uh, selling medicinal street drugs, basically. So these are legal. The DEA is helping him get it in. This is an article from 1988, how Coca-Cola obtains its coca. And they're basically saying, you know, Coca-Cola used to have cocaine and in its, in, its ingredients. Now they take that out of there and they give this cocaine to St. Louis pharmaceutical manufacturer, Mallinckrodt, who is the only company in the United States licensed to purify the product for medicinal use. So Big Pharma wants to sell cocaine, perfectly fine. Leanne McAdoo reporting for Infowars.com. Of course, we are here covering the state of emergency with the radioactive landfill in Westlake. And of course, no trip to St. Louis to cover that would be complete without looking a little deeper into the company that was largely responsible for dumping all of this nuclear waste secretly around St. Louis. That would be Mallinckrodt Chemical Works. Now, Mallinckrodt Chemical Works began uh, processing uranium in 1942 for the first atomic bomb. Once they started running out of space at their facility, uh, they started shipping these radioactive waste containers off-site uh, throughout different parts of St. Louis. Um, here's an old picture. You can see these materials were stored in bulk on the ground, open to the elements, and they were unattended. And they left them right next to Coldwater Creek, which we have been uh, interviewing a lot of people here who were actually poisoned by this nuclear uh, radioactive material. Uh, being in Coldwater Creek, of course, it would get into the floodplain, get into people's crops. This area here is now uh, currently dealing with thorium being found in their backyard. Um, so this is a huge issue. These people are still having to deal with this today. Now, Mallinckrodt, they got out of the uh, atomic weapons business, and today they're actually Mallinckrodt Pharmaceuticals. And check out their website. I mean, hello. I don't really need to <laughs> get into the details with that. But Mallinckrodt Pharmaceuticals is basically a world market leader in medicinal controlled substances. That's right. They are one of the largest importers of opium, coca leaves for cocaine, as well as uh, poppy, um, you know, raw opium. And some of the things that they manufacture, codeine, hydrocodone, morphine products, uh, opium, oxycodone. So all the things that you, you know, other controlled substances. And so they are making these products that you're hearing a lot about uh, with, with drug overdoses and things like that. So you know, going from <laughs> making nuclear weapons to other ticking time bombs that are affecting our present day society. Now, check this out. So you can go to the U.S. Department of Justice into their Office of Diversion Control, and you can see where they have gone with, a, with the Drug Enforcement Administration to be known as importers uh, of these controlled substances. So this was just May 2015 that they filed for that, and they filed for uh, phenylacetone, coca leaves, raw opium, and poppy straw concentrate. And so the, uh, the summary is basically that the Drug Enforcement Agency grants Mallinckrodt registration as an importer of these controlled substances. And then, of course, <clears throat> you can take a look at the other page where they say it's a manufacturer's notice. So then they also have to go ahead and give them the thumbs up that yes, they can use these controlled substances to create all of these controlled substances. So these are medicinal controlled. These are the ones that are given the thumbs up, even though they are made with the same drugs that we're apparently trying to stop with the drug war. So 
are they just working directly with the drug cartels to bring in the coca leaves and the raw opium uh, over the border? Or is the DEA helping them ship it right in? Now think about that. We already know that our soldiers are protecting the the opium fields there in Afghanistan. And since we've been there protecting them, uh, it's actually increased about 90 plus percent. So it doesn't put two and two. And of course, Malin 